and saw a flyer about it, and it was exactly what I was interested in. I was really excited about it and went to the information session. And the information session happened to be at the D school. There's one at the business school, but I couldn't go to that one. So I went to the D school, and I walked in, and uh, it was kind of a group of people from product design who were all kind of wearing cool, trendy clothes, looking like very... Uh, very designy, put together. Uh, there was a group of engineers who were kind of the stereotypical wearing jeans and hooded sweatshirts. And then I had been in an interview that day, uh, so I was wearing a suit and heels. So I actually felt very uncomfortable walking in being entirely the stereotypical business person. Uh, but I think that actually, uh, that was something that I was really excited about. I was excited to go and work with engineers, excited to work with people from product design. Um, that was one of the things that really attracted to me, me to the course. Uh, so Okay, my name is Jim Fattel. I'm one of the faculty members who teaches this course, and I want to first of all welcome all of you and thank you for being here. Each of the teams you see is working with a partner uh, in country, and our partners are all here tonight. So David Dotson and Amy Lockwood are here from Project Healthy Children. David Klaus is here from our partners in Myanmar. Sort of what do we produce in the course? These are what we produce, the students who really make a difference. Our goal for the study is to be ready to manufacture by the end of the summer. So, how can you help? We need expertise, especially in the areas of IP, rural distribution, and manufacturing. Uh, we're working with Project Healthy Children, and uh, we're addressing uh, nutrient deficiencies in rural Rwanda. Specifically, we're addressing um, iron deficiency. Iron deficiency affects 40% of the people in rural Rwanda, uh, specifically developments for uh, mental and physical development of children. We estimate that if the entire population of women who produce uh, peppers in Ethiopia, which is about 700,000 women, adopted this, they would be able to send 5.7 million of their ch children to school. What we decided was instead of trying to make an off-grid solution, we'd make a solution that took advantage of the fact that the grid does work sometimes. And we'd capture that energy and then allow people to repurpose that energy when they wanted in whatever way they wanted.